been almost 50 minutes since. Yikes. All right, let's watch Honest Trailers for Mandalorian Season 3. The following trailer is rated S for spoilers. You've seen decades of Star Wars films and shows all leading up to this moment. Or more likely, you bounce sometime around Rise of Skywalker in the Boba Fett show. <laughs> uh, it still hurts. The franchise plot aimlessly along while Disney scans the galaxy for anyone to make them a decent movie again. It's gonna be a while, folks. After this Yikes. Season, they might put Favreau in Carbonite too. Hey, Grogu, no. Give it no. Grogu, give it back. This isn't working for me. Same. <laughs> Same. Season three. Uh -oh. Bounty hunter turned many. Din Djarin is back, and just like Star Wars fans, he's not one hundred percent sure what he's still doing here. I thought you had the mission. <laughs> 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 Brad bag of a season with a little bit of rejoining his church group. Din Djarin. Yeah. Are redeemed. A bit about retaking planet Mandalore. It is time to retake Mandalore. A dash of dark cloning. <laughs> a pinch of piracy. We have Pirate King Gorian Shards left. Now you'll answer to him. And a Death Star's worth of real estate talk. There's a beautiful parcel available right down here by the flats. Let's move the trade district closer to the shipping terminals. Grief Karga has offered me a tract of land on his independent world. <laughs> okay, okay, but there maybe was a decent amount. The Bullock Canyon. I want to give you this deed to a cabin. Just outside of town, I can set you up with a <laughs> oh my God. right over by the hot springs. Remember, this season takes place after Din finds the Darksaber, but before he closed escrow in a two-bedroom in Navarro. <laughs> you love Pedro Pascal as a gruff older guy you know, a little VIP across a dangerous landscape. You love watching him overcome his troubled past to form a makeshift family with his charge. You love when he joins with an equally gruff female counterpart who comes to see the value of his mission. And you love taking diversions from the A story for one-off episodes that follow the people they encounter on their travels. So yeah, it's that show again. Sorry for repeating ourselves, but so do they. Constantly. This is the way. This you know, is the way. season three was kind of all over the place. This is the way. Loved it though. Okay. Is is this the way? Jesus Christ! They said it this many times. <laughs> After parting ways with Baby Yoda in season two, mm -hmm. Disney took one look at the toy sales and said, um, "No." Now it may not be super clear why they're still together. Make up your mind. Yeah. He's an actual baby, or just a baby they're forcing to be a child soldier. He is too small. I am his ward. <laughs> That's kind of true. And whether it's special effects that make him move. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't like that part either. <laughs> he did a lot of flips. I don't think I realized how many flips he did. Every time he jumps, he does a flip. I just realized that. So fast. The one thing we do know is his name, Baby Yoda. His name is Grogu. If you say so. Speaking of toys, meet every other Mandalorian. <laughs> not included. The Jedi aren't the only reclusive, maybe celibate religious sect with a thing for orphan boys. The words of the creed shall be forever forged in my heart. Collect a whole clan full of these posable disposables, like the Armorer, one of the deadliest hammer fighters in pop culture, not Brew. in this division. Paz Vizla, John Favreau's literal self insert, who spawns <laughs> with the OP chain gun and still can't survive the season. <laughs> this is true. His chain gun was overpowered and he got just absolutely wrecked by some Praetorian guards. 
about running errands. You just know they're going to stop for some Starbucks along the way. Rejoin Bo-Katan, just kind of sitting around, waiting for an adventure to happen, until she's accidentally baptized in the waters of Lake Minnetonka. <laughs> and gets called to resolve Mandalore's deep cultural divides, 90% of which are helmet-based. <laughs> that, is, that is actually kind of crazy. It's, it's just all about the helmet. Oh my god. Sure you don't have to wear the helmet at all times, but listen to your boy Pedro. He knows what's up. Ooh. Mm. What you're done suffering through, baby's first and or episode. Empire, Rebels, <laughs> New Republic, I can't keep track. One episode so corny, you'll barely notice it's about the heroes putting down a slave rebellion. Is there no room for a little bit of forgiveness in a galaxy so bad? True. And like five different episodes where a giant monster pops out and says, boo. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Yeah, it basically just had a giant stegosaurus. At the return of Moff Gideon, not stegosaurus, that thing with a bulbous with tail. Super it's not a stegosaurus. Created the next generation dark trooper suit. And an all-consuming purpose to steer this show to where Dave Filoni is more comfortable. The cartoons. Grand Admiral Thrawn's return will herald in the re-emergence of our military and provide Commandant Hux enough time to deliver on Project Necromancer. Can can I just go? So scale back. <laughs> is that wrong? Way back. <laughs> that is a bequata calling a stiffling slimy. Because even though Star Wars is for everyone, Disney has lost sight of what made it special in the first place. Going the f away every once in a while. <laughs> I mean, the blast is it true. Us. Now that I have my new body, I can defeat those blasted turtles. Three settlers of Catan, Alan Smithy. It's free real estate. Turn your head and moth. The spy who bugged me. The clone boars. Outer rim's convenience. <laughs> we get <to> go <laughs> That's pretty good. In case someone steps to you, Snoop Dogg. Best of the best. A pirate's leap for me. This is not the greatest Star Wars character in the world. This is just a tribute. Flute it and boot it. <laughs> and is Tim Meadows considered a cameo or just an actor who's still getting work these days? Oof. Time Oof. That's painful. For Tim. <laughs> That's pretty good. Oh my god. Okay, it's official. The prequels did look better despite coming out 20 years ago. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. This season may have been a letdown, but Jedi Survivor has me swinging a pretend lightsaber around and scaring my cat all over again. King <laughs> Spot showed the game to a real-life swordmaster to a. Oh yeah, I watched that. That was that was pretty good. That was pretty funny. Um, I don't really have much to say because I've basically been streaming for already an hour and I haven't played Swator at our at all. So let's let's just get into it, shall we? But that was that was way way too accurate of what the season was about which i'm still not 100 percent sure <laughs> it's about mandalore it's about clones it's about din and grogu it's all over the place which who knows what they'll go forward with i guess we'll have to wait and find out <laughs>